Hello everybody, today we taste uh, Villa San Il Fresco, that is our flagship wine. It is the wine that you can find uh, in 104 countries uh, all over the world. It is our best seller and it is the symbol of the Villa Sandy brand uh, all over the world. The same bottle, the same label in 104 countries. So Stefano, why the name is uh, Il Fresco? This is a good question, Flavio. Fresco because uh, in English means fresh. Okay, uh, this represents uh, our philosophy in uh, Prosecco production and in particular in, uh, in this kind of wine. Uh, fresh in terms of aromas okay, and in terms of tasting uh, in general of the wine. The grape comes from the province of Treviso, Glera grape came from this province, that are in the middle of the area of the production of Prosecco and uh, represent a very, very important wine for, uh, for Villa Sandy. It's, a, it's a one of our flagship wines. So, in fact, you, you told me Treviso. I see that in the label Prosecco DOC Treviso. But uh, I see many Prosecco DOC, but not all of them uh, in the back label I can find the name Treviso. Why? Uh, no, because the, the area of production of Prosecco involved two regions in Italy, from uh, Trieste until Venice, okay? And uh, thanks to, uh, to the area, because Prosecco was born in this area, Okay. Mm -hmm. It's possible to, to use the appellation of the province, in this case Treviso. You can, it is impossible to find a Prosecco, I don't know, DOC Venezia or DOC Pordenone or mm -hmm. DOC Udine. It's possible only find a Prosecco DOC Treviso and a few quantity, few producers from Trieste because the uh, village of Prosecco is in the province of Trieste. Mm -hmm. So, if you write Treviso, it means that the grapes and the winery are inside the very original area. The grapes, the winery and the winemaking, yes, it's correct, inside the province of Treviso. So, if you want to have a link between the production area and the wine, you need to find Treviso in the back label. Yes, correct. correct. Okay. So, and uh, what about the uh, taste of this wine? Well, uh, about the taste, of course, we, we start from the, from the color, it's a very uh, light green, it's typical of, uh, of Prosecco. Uh, I don't know if you can see from the cameras, but uh, very soft bubbles, thanks to our method, because we use the mapping of the metal for a minimum of production of three months, okay, before, mm. uh, before bottling. Uh, for the low, Prosecco is possible to produce in one month, but uh, in our winemaking philosophy, we use three months. In this way, uh, also with our wine making, that is particular because we cool down the grape during the vintage and then we use all the year, it's possible to produce a fresh wine with very, very fine bubbles, very velvet in the mouth. Small bubbles. Small bubbles, yes. And as fresh as possible during all the time. You know that uh, when the bubbles are very small, it means that uh, uh, the second fermentation was longer than usual. But the problem is that uh, if you don't have a quality juice to start, uh, you can't uh, have a second fermentation of three months. Because at the end, uh, you, will, you will have only a poor juice. This wine is very fruity because you have the typical element of pear, peach, uh, white flowers, yeah. and uh, this final, uh, very soft uh, aftertaste uh, that invites you to drink another glass. Of course, yeah, this is the characteristic of this kind of wine. So enjoy it with the first one. <laughs>